the current decade of basketball action has seen some massive changes in the NBA. 2010 started with the Los Angeles Lakers winning their most recent and Kobe Bryant final NBA championship. The following offseason launched the era of LeBron James when he joined the Miami Heat to form a big three with Dwyane Wade and Chris Bosh. James has been the face of the league since that moment with stints in Miami, Cleveland, and now Los Angeles. The Golden State Warriors super team also formed with Stephen Curry becoming a mega star for the NBA. Kevin Durant felt like jumping on the bandwagon to make the Warriors arguably the most talented team ever. Each team has tried to put together big moves but not all work out. There are quite a few players that ended up becoming overrated due to things either not working out in the long run or their accomplishments not being as impressive as one would have assumed. We will look at some of the players for each franchise that ended up becoming overrated in the grand scheme of things. Fans either wanted more from them or gave them too much love that bolstered their reputations. Find out just which player is the one chosen from your team when it comes to this list. These are the most overrated players from each NBA team since 2010. Houston Rockets Dwight Howard The Houston Rockets believed they had a new superstar duo when signing Dwight Howard to pair with James Harden. Howard was coming off his one season with the Los Angeles Lakers and still was considered the best big man in the league. Houston would see Howard underperform and take a step back. Despite making a few all-star teams during his time with the Rockets, Howard struggled to play at a superstar level. Houston didn't get to the next level in the West until they traded Dwight and developed Clint Capella as their new center. Detroit Pistons Reggie Jackson The Detroit Pistons were very happy when they pulled off a trade to land Reggie Jackson from the Oklahoma City Thunder. Jackson looked promising coming off the bench as a sixth man for OKC, but he believed he could be a superstar and wanted to start. Detroit added Jackson and built him up to be their point guard of the future. Despite starting in the lineup for a few years now, Jackson is rightfully viewed as a below-average starting point guard. The Pistons' biggest weakness is not having someone that can run their offense these days as Jackson is a highly overrated guard. Denver Nuggets Kenneth Ferry There have been quite a few players on the Denver Nuggets to earn an overrated tag from the first half of the 2010s. Kenneth Ferry stands out as a player that was supposed to become a bigger star. The numbers of Ferry in his early seasons of success showed great potential. Denver would find disappointment when Ferry started to regress and play poorly despite having a large contract. Ferry has fallen to a lower tier player struggling to make a rotation. Nuggets fans still feel the pain from his lack of success. Atlanta Hawks DeMar Carroll The Atlanta Hawks had a few good seasons this decade that ultimately ended in disappointing playoff departures. Atlanta best season came when they won 60 games and finished with the top seed in the Eastern Conference. The Hawks once had a lineup of Al Horford, Paul Millsap, Jeff Teague, Kyle Korver and DeMar Carroll that impressed the NBA world. Carroll left in free agency to join the Toronto Raptors but his play WAS and good enough to live up to the contract he signed. The solid play of Carroll was taken to another level in Atlanta for a short time that made him overrated when leaving. Boston Celtics Kendrick Perkins The Boston Celtics were the top team of the Eastern Conference to start the decade before LeBron James made his move to start the dominance of his teams. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen and Rajan Rondo lost the NBA Finals in 2010 to the Los Angeles Lakers. Many pundits believed an injury to Kendrick Perkins may have changed things. Celtics fans were upset when the team traded away Perkins. The fan base hyped up the big man to be significantly better than he was. Perkins would become a huge bust for every team he played for that required him to do more than just defend. Brooklyn Nets Deron Williams The biggest move by the Nets when moving from New Jersey to Brooklyn was landing Deron Williams via trade. Williams was expected to become the face of the franchise and turn them into a contender. Brooklyn made more trades to acquire Joe Johnson, Gerald Wallace, Paul Pierce, and Kevin Garnett. Those other trades was worse decisions. But they never would have happened without adding Williams. Deron's play did see him make a couple of all-star teams for the Nets. But he was never the player that was advertised when joining the roster. Charlotte Hornets Nicholas Batum One of the biggest moves made by the Charlotte Hornets over the past decade was adding Nicholas Batum. The move featured them paying him star caliber money to become the secondary star on the team to give Kemba Walker some help. Batum regressed from his time with the Portland Trail Blazers and failed to make an impact. Charlotte is still hoping to get more out of him. Unfortunately, the label of overrated certainly fits him given how much the team expected him to improve them, but he instead became a regretful addition to the roster. Chicago Bulls 
Jotlockham Noah Jotlockham Noah was once viewed as a potential superstar for the Chicago Bulls, but his offensive game never matched that. Chicago believed that a healthy combination of Derrick Rose and Noah may have been enough to win an NBA championship. Rose can fault injuries for his downfall, but Noah, even if his injuries are taken out of the equation, regressed and was never as good as many pundits wanted to believe. Noah could play strong defense. However, the lack of scoring prevented him from truly earning that superstar label during his time on the Bulls. Dallas Mavericks, Harrison Barnes Harrison Barnes was one of the bigger names to sign with the Dallas Mavericks in free agency. Dallas spent many off-season summers trying to attract huge names. Most passed on them for bigger markets. Barnes signing after Kevin Durant took his spot on the Golden State Warriors felt like a big addition for the Mavericks. Barnes run in Dallas, however just exposed him as being an overrated player. Barnes was the fourth or fifth best player for a great system in Golden State, but things went poorly when he tried to be the best player on a team. Both will likely move on when his contract expires after the disappointing run.